Hi, I'm Joe James. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert not a number field in a pandas data frame to zeros or some other number, whatever you want, uh, but any numerical value. And you may want to do that for the entire data frame or just for a specific column. So I'll show you how to do that, both of those. So we're going to start out with import numpy as np, import pandas as pd, a couple import statements. And then I've created a data frame here. We'll call this df equals pd.dataframe. And I've already typed something up. So I'll just paste that in. And you can see that we have a bunch of not a numbers as well as some floating point and integer values in our three columns, alpha, beta, and gamma. We will print out that data frame. And that's what it looks like. That's what we're going to start out with. Alpha, beta, and gamma. We have two not a numbers in the first column one in the second, and two in the third. And so what we want to do is, we're going to assume this is a much bigger data frame. We're going to figure out how to convert these not numbers to zeros for both the specific column, such as column gamma, or for the entire sheet. So first, for the entire data frame, what we do is df.fillina, and then we're going to put what value we want to convert to. I'm going to say zero. And that's it. So fill in A is going to convert all the not a numbers to zeros or whatever number or whatever argument I put in here. In this case, it's zero. But these are numerical data types, so I have to convert them to some number. It can't be a string. But I didn't persist the changes here, did I? Because if I uh, now type df, you're going to see that, well, my changes are gone, aren't they? You see, we still have the not a number fields. So if we want to persist those changes, if we want to save those changes into df, we have to do in place equals true. Now I don't want to do that here because that will mess up my data frame. So we're not gonna we're not gonna do that this time. But we have right now we have this. So uh, what if we want to do just a specific column? We could do column gamma, for instance. Now what we'll do is df, and then in square brackets, we'll put gamma, and then we'll put um, dot fill in a, and we put in our argument of zero, or let's say we want to change them to negative ones. Okay, that'll work. And then if we uh, add in here, df, well, what we need to do is uh, add in, add in here our um, in place equals true. And then that will save our changes. And then we print out the DF. And we can see we have now negative ones in place of the not a numbers in the column gamma. So we did a DF of gamma just to get the, the gamma column. And then we said fill not a numbers with negative one for that column. And we said in place equals true, and that tells pandas to save that to the df variable, to our data frame. So now these are saved, these negative ones. And we have two other columns we can play with here, because we want to do one other thing. What if we want to change multiple columns at once, and we want to ch change those columns to different values? So we'll do df dot fill in a, and then we're going to pass in a dictionary. So we have alpha and beta columns that we can deal with. So I'm going to pass in a dictionary here with alpha 100 and beta negative 1. And these are our default values that we want to change the not a numbers to. So in the column alpha, we're going to change these not a numbers to 100. And in beta, I want to change them to negative 1. And then I just need to add the in place equals true argument. And we can run that, and what we'll get back is a data frame with all the not numbers gone. And you can see in column alpha, they're now 100. Betas, they're now negative 1. So there are a few different ways to do this, all using the fill in a method. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.